here. You haven't even kissed me yet. Yeah, well, I don't think you're gonna want me to when you hear what I have to say. Go ahead. I'll take a chance. Celia, you're a special girl. You are, and that's why I hate what I have to say. That the engagement was never meant to be? Oh, it's worse than that. You see, the engagement was never... <laughs> it's okay, go. Celia! Now, we don't want any vulgarity. <laughs> Celia, dear, I've just been thinking about the silver pattern. No pattern, Mother. The engagement is off. I've decided that Gopher and I are just going to be good friends. Good friends? <laughs> I've already phoned an order for my dress. Oh, Celia, you can't do this to me. Oh, my poor head. Maybe you should see Dr. Bricker. Celia, I'm shocked. Good. Now, please leave us alone. What's going on here? I almost had my dress ordered, too. <laughs> I was in the bar a few minutes ago. Isaac told me the whole story, so I gave the ring back to Betty. Uh, Celia, I feel awful. So did I at first. But it's OK. It was fun being engaged, even by mistake. And Gopher, you did me the biggest favor. Now my mother has seen that I can not only find a guy by myself, but I can also turn one down. So maybe she'll give me some breathing space. Amen. It wasn't all her fault. I have to be more confident about leading my own life. And I'm going to do just that. I see. Well, um, really confident girl, I'm off duty. Would you like to go for a little run ashore with your ex fiance hmm? Thanks, but I'm going to go with the gang. <laughs> and besides, it wouldn't be fair to Betty, Carol, Anne, or Peggy. <laughs>